So here's my Cade 4x2x2 aquarium after four weeks of plant growth. Now I put two bunches of Ambulia into this tank about a month ago and so that's about $10 worth of plant and now in here I have $110 worth of plant. So that's definitely gone up better than any shares that I could possibly invest in. So this tank has currently not got CO2 on it. I do have a CO2 system, but I haven't actually installed it yet because obviously I haven't needed it. I'm about to um, clear all of the ambulia out of this aquarium and start getting a range of plants because I only really put the ambulia in there in the first place just for it to suck up excess nutrients and sort of start the tank off. And that's done that more than well, and I sort of learnt to like it, so I um, kept it in there for a little bit longer than I intended. And it grew faster than I intended too, because as I said, you're looking at a whole bunch of plant here, which is all grown out of two original bunches. I'm also going to remove a lot of these fish, um, because um, a lot of the fish are not really what I was aiming for. So I want to put some schools of like harlequin or something like that in there. But yeah, it's, that's one of the beauty of having a, an aquarium is that you can enjoy it for a while and then change it all around. But once again, the plant growth in this tank is absolutely miraculous. Um, so this has got LED green element lights. It's got ADA power sand. Um, on top of that is some ADA aqua soil. And there's also some ERB, which is Eco Reef Base in here and some black silicate gravel just to give it the black look. So with this combination I'm just getting absolutely excessive plant growth. So I'm going to hook the CO2 system up now, pull all these plants out, change the fish and it'll be just like having a whole new aquarium. Pretty cool. So it's $110 worth of plants out of $10 worth of plants within a month. Now if you do that at home you can actually trade them in so you can grow your plant like crazy and then you can bring it down to us at the store and we'll trade sort of um, a bunch some of your plants for some of our plants. Obviously you don't get as many back as you give us but that's the way it goes. Very very simple. Obviously, watching KH is very important, especially now that I'm going to start putting CO2 on it. Um, I wasn't using actual CO2, but I was using Carbomax, which is a CO2 supplement, to, and the results have been great. But keeping an eye on KH is everything, because everything CO2 is going to drop KH, and if your KH drops, your fish die. And I'm also going to make sure that my CO2 system only runs during the day when the lights are on and because I'll put that on a same power point so I'll run my lights and my CO2 at the same time because if you run your CO2 with your lights off you can kill your fish because they don't get enough oxygen.